How's it going guys? Um, new video here. In this video, we're going to be driving across country from all the way from San Francisco all the way to New York, back where I live. In this video, I'm going to be moving my older sister across country in a moving truck. I decided to make a video, bring you guys along. I brought my GoPro too and this camera and my phone obviously for all different angles. So guys, so we're in California now. It is about two days later from when I took that flight. Uh, pretty windy, um, but smooth actually. Smooth, smooth landing and uh, crazy takeoff. The rain was just like insane. You guys probably saw in the last clip, but and, uh, we're going right now to pick up the truck. And then after we get the truck is when we're gonna start driving. Well, we're gonna load it up first. Good, got, got a good amount of stuff, but uh, let's go get the truck and I'll show you guys how big it is actually. What's up guys, ignore my hair. It's freaking all over the place. I'm sweating my ass off. We packed the truck. I'm on the road, we are driving, so I'm gonna kinda of focus on driving because there's a little bit of a, of a wind and a slight gust come from my left side over here, so, uh, you know, awesome fields and whatnot. So I'm at a rest area right now. I'm gonna show you guys what, it what the truck looks like. Um, I definitely didn't just take a piss, so we're gonna avoid that. But let's go. The truck. It's a GMC, and uh, it's a box truck. It's a 16 foot truck. Massive. Big ass mirrors too that extend so far out. But yeah, I mean we're on a slight incline, but I uh, just want to make make sure those tire walls are not uh, coming down. Uh, yeah, got all this. All the trucks coming in right now. Rest in there was a rest area right there. We're uh, we're kind of near Reno right now. <laughs> Someone just waved at me as I was recording. Uh, we're rolling at about 4K, so it's just gonna come out to probably the same 1080 60 FPS for you guys. But there we go.
our view as of now, where we're looking at. Very, very deserted area. Well, this is an interesting camera angle, but uh, yeah guys, so I am here at the Salt Flat rest area currently. I took my first ever truck top shower. I won't fucking lie. It was probably one of the best showers I've ever taken before. Just out and it was almost better than a hotel shower. The It was powerful. The pressure was awesome. Hot water, comes with soap. You know, they also come with towels and whatnot. Obviously wear flip flops in a truck stop shower in case of athlete's foot. But I'm um, gonna rest up and then uh, probably proceed tomorrow morning or whatever. So um, yeah, it's not a bad night. It's pretty warm. So get the truck off. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the morning. It's uh, probably, what time is it? 6.36 right now. Yeah, so I'm all uh, cleaned up, ready to go, brush my teeth as I said. And uh, let me show you guys what it looks like behind me. The sun's just about to rise. I just went outside, checked the tires. Um, tires are fine. I just want to uh, definitely top them off at uh, the next gas station uh, with air or whatever. But the uh, sun is just rising over the horizon. We got a shit ton of bugs on my screen. and. Even washing them off is not going to do anything. Alright guys, sun has rose, or rise, where the fucking term is, and uh, let's bring you outside. Look at all these mountains around us, dude. It's freaking nuts. Of course my battery's about to die too. But it smells like shit out here, bro. Because of salt, bro. The salt. The sun has just rised. This is the shit that's smelling so damn bad. It's like sand, but so squishy, dude. Like, look at this. Look at that. So weird. But yeah, I'm gonna get my GoPro up so you guys can see it, because there's more salt right down there, right where that sun is, where those uh, telephone wires are, so. All right, y'all, so we just went through Salt Lake City. We we're kind of leaving it now. We're on 80 still east by uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, a lot of construction here on Interstate 80 with the connection through 15. Interstate 15, the one that goes uh, north and south down to Las Vegas, actually. Um, but yeah, we're coming out here to the mountains here. It's gonna be a sick, sick road. This this route's gonna be cool. I remember this actually. It goes right through the mountains here, so we're gonna get some nice uh, content for you. came around the corner over there and then all of a sudden just saw this big open water I was like what the fuck is this this is nuts this is insane I gotta take some pictures I'm gonna put this at the end of the video but god damn dude look at this view I don't know if people have drawn <laughs> and drove off this cliff look at those guys down there let's see if we can zoom in on them They're fishing or doing something I don't know fucking hill for every truck has their hazard lights on and everything but uh yeah going up this hill this little canyon here just out of uh just out of wyoming well in wyoming uh but we're very very close to nebraska we're trying to hit nebraska today i got wendy's and it was fucking gross as fuck let me tell you that 
What's up guys? It is uh, currently uh, Wednesday. I think it is Wednesday today. Uh, we are here at this truck stop. Oh, rest area actually. That was parked. It has a really weird inside building over there that's like a big glass windows. I'll show you guys once we start going down there. But we slept here. Uh, we got about half a tank of gas. Highway's right here. Runs right here. It is currently... 5.36. I had a very good first three hours of sleep. Then woke up, scared that I wasn't going about to sleep. And then I did go to sleep. And I had a really, really good another three hours of sleep. I forgot to show you guys the building that I was talking about, but look at this. Look at this fog. I had to show you guys this. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but that white line, that thin white line, is just fog hovering over these cornfields. And I'm going to head down that way about 30 miles, check out the... Um, the truck stop loves truck stop and see if they have showers and then get some food or something like that. Not McDonald's this time. I really don't want McDonald's, but let's go. This sunlight is obnoxious. Goddamn. So we are here in Ogalalala. I don't even know how to pronounce the name. Well. I took a shower and uh, I feel pretty pretty ready to go for today. Uh, I really need that shower. I was just like, between yesterday with the bad sleep and just no shower, bro, that is a worst combo ever. We're going to try to get to the world's largest truck stop. The world's largest truck stop is approximately eight hours from us right now. you guys where I am right now. I'm in a rest area um, off of uh, I-80 in Iowa. We are finally in Iowa now. Uh, we got about three hours and 40 minutes until the world's largest truck stop. I'm gonna be rolling the GoPro footage around then so you guys can see me rolling in there, how big the area is. Well, let's hit the road guys, let's go. videos on the screen right now you're seeing this one but I'm just going to show you the other side there are gas stations truck stops on every direction behind us too I think there's over like 500 spots or maybe a thousand spots which is nuts we are turning in here look it's fucking nuts I was, I was just here which is even crazier I'll make this screen bigger now I was just here my thumbnail the other day was this right here, but we finally made it, guys. Look at that. Look at the selection of the drinks, guys. Jesus. That's crazy. It looks like so much bigger on, on camera. It looks like it goes back forever. It looks like a Costco. You know, it does go back, but yeah. I mean, that's, that's a 24-hour restaurant. Yeah. I've never seen so, many, so much Mountain Dew before. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at that. That's nuts. Have you guys ever seen a Chinese food in an arcade game? Well, here you can play and get Chinese tofu. Jesus, these are massive. Jolly Ranchers, too. You guys look, there's a whole truck. It's a Freightliner, too. Did they build the truck stop around the truck or did they? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Good question. Damn, you can get all these parts. Oh, this is where I get my GPS. Oh, the slow cookers and the um air fryer. Air fryer, yeah. Uh Alright guys, so we're parked right here on the side of the uh highway off of interstate 80 we made it into uh, indiana and we're trying to decide whether or not we want to continue going to ohio but we're both kind of like not tired but we're just like we've dealt with so much freaking highway bullshit 
Well, we woke up yesterday and uh, right, I went to sleep last night around like, I think it was like, um, pretty much after I, I showed you guys, you know, what, what my plan was. We are officially, guys, about 10 hours and 45 minutes left, so um, we're chilling. I didn't really end the video yet, so I'm gonna end it right now. Uh, I'm not quite done with the trip yet. I still have another three hours to go uh, to, you know, our beach house where everything's gonna go. And, um, but you guys have already seen that whole video and that whole road trip and that whole, you know, scenery over there. So we covered about 3,700 miles, I'd say, probably, probably, probably a little more, uh, with, you know, all the stopping to go off the road to, you know, go get something to eat or gas or whatever. So, um, you know, we covered a lot of miles. A lot of fun driving that truck honestly uh, I, I definitely was able to learn you know a few things especially with handling it with uh, in crosswinds and uh, you know just the high center of gravity I guess you guys soon anyway peace out <laughs>